Welcome to Ask Sean, where I explore all sorts of questions about life, relationships, and being human. I'm Sean Slevin, a licensed professional counselor and a licensed marriage and family therapist. And if you have a question for me, you can submit that anonymously at www.askshawn.org. So I'm pondering today this question about why men seem so afraid of women. Like, what is it, what is it that we're so afraid of? Um, and I, I think about things like this a lot um, because I'm trying to make sense of human beings Men, men and women both, uh, how we relate to each other, the ways that we hurt each other, hurt ourselves. Um, so, but this particular question came out of a conversation I had with a friend yesterday where she was, sh you know, sharing about um, just, yeah, some of the yucky impact of patriarchy uh, on her life. And, um, and I was reflecting kind of out loud in response to some of what she was sharing that yeah, it's like I wish that I wish that we men weren't so fearful of women. Um, and it was kind of I was kind of processing on the spot, and she was like, "Yeah, like what? What is that about? Like what?" She's like, "It's not like I want to dominate men or something, or like I just want to exist as a person. I just want to be an equal person. Like what's what is it that men are so afraid of?" Um, and I suppose I you know it occurs to me that like. Um, it may not be a foregone conclusion, you know, to you, the listener, that men are afraid of women. Uh, this is more kind of my, my intuition. Um, when I, you know, I think about, you know, like there's, yeah, there's all these things going on sociologically, politically, religiously and whatnot. But, but it's like when I try to drill down to like, okay, but what does that feel like under the surface? And to me, it feels like fear, you know, like, because like, why, why try to control someone if you're not afraid of them, right? Like, what's the point of that? Like, we, that's something we do out of fear. You know, why try to dominate? Why try to suppress? You know, like, those are all fear responses. Um, so perhaps that point, I mean, certainly that point warrants a lot more conversation of itself. But, I, but where my mind is going at the moment in terms of, and this, is, this is kind of one of my processing videos, you know, things I'm chewing on. Where it's going on, where my mind is going at the moment is just, yeah, reflecting on that question of like, what what might the fear be about? Uh, what might be underneath that or driving that for for men? And I think certainly, you know, one angle is, uh, I think that there are um, often pretty significant mother wounds. Um, which is not something I really hear talked about in our culture very much. Um, the ways that that men um, carry wounds from their mothers. Um, so I think I think there's some big things in there. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm, of that I'm going to get into at the moment. Uh, although I think it ties into what to the thing that I am thinking about. The thing that I am thinking about that, that I wanted to voice and that I'm kind of chewing on, hypothesizing about, is that I, I suspect that what what we're afraid of is that we're afraid of our own weakness that like and, and part of how I got to this 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 hypothesis is thinking about like just the classic male pattern of relating to women right which is to be the hero quote unquote to be the leader you know so to speak um you know to be in charge to like you know provide all these kinds of things and and what strikes me about that is that that those are all ways of trying to um, feel strong, feel competent, feel able, you know, feel uh, worthy, uh, you know, perhaps. Um, because if we if we allow ourselves to experience that the other person has competence, has strength. You know, perhaps is more competent than we are in places. Uh, perhaps is stronger than we are uh, in places. Is wiser uh, than we are. Then that that makes us aware of that we're not as strong, you know, that we're not as wise, that we're not as competent. Um, I think I think that touches deep places in the masculine psyche 
um, where I think there's a real terror of facing uh, and, and, and engaging with our weakness. Um, and certainly, I mean, we can see the ways in which, you know, there's a lot of things, you know, kind of sociologically, culturally around men are supposed to be strong, supposed to be together, supposed to not like, you know, supposed to be tough, not struggle, like, um, and, and yeah, that some of that's shifting in some ways. But I don't know that there's, I don't know whether as a culture we're really actually getting down into more the heart of like, and I think this is a thing that all humans, men and women, you know, we all have to grapple with, but but I'm thinking about a particular, you know, kind of sort of this particular masculine struggle of like, um, like we have to learn how to be able to love ourselves and our weakness. Um, we have to learn how to be, to experience that we are lovable and likable and worthy in the places where we're not competent, where we're not strong. We have to learn that people can still want to be connected to us, even if we're not doing all the things, um, you know, all the caretaking or providing or, you know, being the hero, you know, all of, all of that bullshit. Because, um, you know, it really, obviously, it's not the answer to, like, dominate another human being just to avoid our own pain. Um that's a horrible thing. That's a cruel thing. Um, and interestingly, it's as much as it's cruel to women, it's really cruel to ourselves as well. Um, and I don't say that to in any way minimize the awfulness of how, yeah, of how we males can be prone to treat women, be, be prone to treat females. But, um, but just that, yeah, like there's a there's like a mutual dehumanization in this whole pattern. Um, so I, you know, I think there's there's a there's a lot to unpack there. Um, but yeah, I just I don't know if it's something that's some of what I'm chewing on, kind of this idea of like what if what if it's not not that men are afraid of women being empowered though that's how it's often framed and how it's often played out, right? But it's that what that brings up psychologically is that we're confronted with um, our own weakness in various ways. Um, and the tra and part of the tra tragedy there, right? Um, aside from the, the obvious and terrible, you know, ways that women have been treated, but, but part of the tragedy there is that, you know, when, when we persist in this kind of pattern, we never get to experience, um, like a deeper way of relating, like, and being related to. I mean, how much more wonderful would it be to, like, instead of having to be the hero, having to be always strong, having to have always have the answers, if, like, men and women could be co-laborers in the world? Like, you know, if, like, we could bring our strengths and weaknesses to the table and work together to make the world better and, like, it not matter that like you know in some places one person is you know more capable at something than the other it would just be like oh well you know you seem like you've got a better handle on this how can I support you and like let me follow you here um and there could be just this lovely dance of kind of you know kind of trading off you know kind of um you know kind of roles or whatever there um and just supporting one another and um offering expertise in the places where each has expertise not just both in gender differences, but personality differences and, you know, all these kinds of things, right? Like all these complexities. I mean, no two humans is exactly the same. Um, so I don't know. That's much more the kind of world that I want to live in, I think. Um, so I'm going to keep chewing on all that. And I, I hope that, uh, I hope that you will too. Um, so until next time. Peace be with you.